Google just released Project Marina, the new AI agent that's supposed to automate everything in your browser for $249 per month. I tested five real tasks to see if it could actually handle automation and the results have shocked me. I now show you some alternatives that are completely free and might change the way that you think about AI automation. Let's get into it. All right, so Project Marina is Google's new AI agent. This is a research prototype exploring the future of human agent interaction starting with browsers so essentially what you can do here is according to google you can automate multiple tasks simultaneously you do have to be on the ultra plan for this it only came out a few days ago i've got access and i'm going to show you exactly how we use it and how powerful it is basically what this is doing is you can type in a prompt and it will just go off and do time consuming tasks for example like research planning data entry it can tackle tasks simultaneously in browsers running a virtual machines etc Here's an example, as you can see here, it's like flicking between Google Drive, checking stuff out. It can shop and browse the internet for you. You can save different tasks and then train it for later. And we'll be testing out today as well as that. It can also reason multimodally, which means that basically it can observe what's going on in your browser and then click make action, etc. right? Now we're going to be testing out to see how impressive it is, how good it is and whether it's actually worth it. I've got a bunch of prompts today that we're going to be testing out. So if you want to know what the prompts are inside the AI success lab, link in the comments description. So we're going to do five prompts, find five great ideas for my next video, search for Julian Goldie's latest video, find a way to preview my code and also log into this email address. And then the final task will be sending an email and just seeing whether it's capable of doing each of these tasks. Just going to have to sign in on the background folks. I'll do that in a sec. All right, so here we have Project Marina. This is what it looks like once you've logged in. You can switch between saved tasks, etc. So, for example, test it out a couple of times here, like new Google Doc about SEO training or browseapple.com. And now we're going to run those tests that we talked about earlier. So let's get straight into this. Someone asked what type of earphones are these? These are noise cancelling earphones. I just use them so I can focus sometimes when I'm creating videos. So we're going to run with the first idea, which is find five great ideas for my next video about AI updates that are super relevant to specific headlines today, right? So I'm going to plug that in now. This is going to have to start a new environment and it can be a little bit slow, but let's see how it performs. The other thing that I would say here is that when we're doing this, what I'm watching for, what I'm trying to find is can it actually research relevant stuff? So hopefully it doesn't give me a say, for example, an idea to do a video about chat GPT-4 that no one really cares about, right? Like we're looking for actual useful ideas that have come out recently. For example, it could be Veo 3 or Google Flow or one of the latest updates. And we'll see if Project Marina is capable of doing that. So now it's typing in the latest AI headlines, May 2025, into the search bar and clicking the search button to find recent AI news. So you can see on the right hand side, the ideas and what it's doing. And then on the left-hand side, this is the actual screen. So it's controlling the screen right here. Now, what's interesting is on Project Marina, it's asked for an AI overview, but it's not finding that AI overview, which is quite interesting. seems like AI overviews doesn't work when Project Marina is trying to do it. So I'm just going to move myself out of the way here. And you can see the screen preview now. And now it's saying, I see a consent banner at the bottom of the page that I need to interact with, can I accept? So I'm just going to take over the screen and click accept now. We have to allow that. So that's one of the annoying things here is like it still struggles with basic stuff like accepting cookies. So we'll resume there. Bear in mind, imagine every single website, if you're in Europe, for example, has a cookies banner. And that means every time it's browsing the internet, you have to accept the cookies on those new sites if you haven't done it before. So it says task complete. Let's see what we got back here. And we'll see if it's interesting. So the first thing that it came up with was video idea. Alibaba's AI prowess is the US dominance under threat. Honestly, like that's not an interest. I don't think that's an interesting topic. Honestly, it is about Quinn and that sort of thing, but it's generic. The next one is video idea. AI fakes and real consequences. That's super old, right? This is talking about stuff from May the 4th. Whereas we want it based on today's headline. We literally said headlines today, mate. And it's giving us old stuff, which I don't really like. AI in schools, May 2nd. So you can see here a lot of the old, especially 
if you were trying to find like relevant topics to today, which is specified inside the prompt, it's not doing that. It's not got that ability to do that. So to be honest, it's just not that interesting, not that good. So I would say, honestly, it, it gave us some ideas for task one, but it didn't do very well. So let's try the next one now. We're going to say, search for Julian Goldie's latest YouTube video titled Claude 4 vs Gemini 2.5 and tell me how many views it has. You can also see that it actually takes quite a long time for the prompt to appear in the chat. So you see how the prompt that I've just typed in didn't appear in the chat just yet. And it's thinking about it now. It's trying to figure stuff out. It takes a little while. Let's see what it's doing here. So if we scroll down in the chat, it's figured out what to do. So it's selected YouTube. I should search for Julian Goldie. It types into the search bar. Task complete. And it says... Julian Goldie's latest completed YouTube video titled Claw 4 of Gemini 2.5 Pro has 9.6. He also has a currently live video on a similar topic. And it, you can see the live video down here. So this is super interesting because number one, it can figure out that was two days ago and this was 19 hours ago and therefore this is the most recent video. And number two, it can read the number of views here. So it might be really good for basic research tasks, that sort of thing. I would say pass that test really well. It did a great job there. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to say, find a way to preview this code and preview it. All right. And then I'm going to take some code that I just run in live weave and see if it can preview it. Right. So if we have a look at this code that we pull up here, this is the code and it should look something like this, right? So you can see here, we've got the game ready to go. So we're going to take that and then plug it in here. We've plugged in the HTML and see if it can actually figure out how to preview the code and whether it can actually show it inside the browser here. Now you got to bear in mind here, you know, this option, it costs $249 per month with Project Marina. You do get access to a lot of different models and you got VO3 in there, Google Flow, etc. So it's pretty cool. Well, you can see here it actually failed completely. So it said, I cannot directly render and preview the HTML code you provided within this environment. However, you can easily preview it yourself, blah, 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 by doing this, right? So it can't preview code and it can't do stuff like that for me, which is a little bit annoying. So it's failed on task three. So just to recap, finding five great ideas, it didn't do a good job. It didn't base the ideas on the headline today. And so I would say it failed. Task number two, searching for my YouTube videos and finding the view count. It did really well there. It failed on task number three, which is finding a way to preview the code. Let's try this now. So this is just a test account that I created. I'm going to say log into this email account, give it the email details. We'll plug in the details right here. And we'll just see if it can actually figure out how to log into Gmail. So it's got the password. It's got the email. And let's just see how it goes. And that again has failed. So it said, I cannot log into the email account as requested. Handling personal login information is against my safety protocols. So it's failed on three out of the four tasks and it's not very useful at all so far. The final one that we're going to do is say, figure out a way to send an email to me at juliangoldie.com and do it. And it said, I'm unable to send an email to me at juliangoldie.com. It's totally failed at everything. It is... Honestly, like if you're thinking about getting Project Marina, is it good? I wouldn't say so. It's it's totally failed on pretty much every task there. The only thing that it could do was like browse YouTube and tell us how many views one of our videos got, which is not that useful, right? Unless you're doing a lot of competitive research. So overall, I'm going to say that Project Marina was not great. It is Google's new AI agent. I think it's got a long way to go before it gets anywhere. And that was not impressive at all. Now, if you do want some examples of autonomous agents that are absolutely amazing and how to set them up for free, check out the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments and description. It comes with all my best and latest automations. But additionally, what you'll find is that it can actually give you SAPs on some of the best AI agents that are autonomous, right? And some of them are free. They could do way better jobs than Project Marina right now. I'm sure that will change in the future. But right now, if you want a free alternative to Project Marina and you want one that actually works and can log into your emails and everything else, feel free to check out the classes that I have on this inside the SAP section here. And if you get stuck or you have trouble finding it, feel free to DM me or post inside the community. 
This is an awesome community focused on making more money and saving you time with AI. And you can see all the systems that we use inside our business to grow. So feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.